Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. As with any repair, be sure you unplug the appliance before beginning. Your first step is to remove the screws at the rear of the control panel to release it. Next, open the dryer door and remove the screws inside the door frame which secure the main top. Carefully unhook the control panel tabs from the main top. Then lift up the top and remove. Uninstall the screws securing the front panel. Now lift the front panel up and rotate it to the side. Remove the screw or screws securing the sides of the cabinet to the support panel. Now reach under the drum and push the idler pulley to release the tension on the belt. Then unthread the belt from the pulley and motor shaft. Use the belt to help lift out the drum. Disconnect the power cord wire connector and remove the mounting screws securing the grounding wire. Use a flathead screwdriver to depress the tab on the retaining clip to release the old power cord through the rear panel. Install the new power cord by inserting it into the rear panel and snapping the retaining clip into place. Secure the grounding wire with the mounting screw. Reconnect the power cord wire connector. Replace the drum in the cabinet by aligning the drum shaft and bearing with the bearing retainer on the rear panel. Reach under the drum and thread the belt onto the pulley and motor shaft in a zigzag formation. Now rotate the drum to help align the belt. Replace the screw or screws securing the sides of the cabinet to the support panel. Reposition the front panel by first aligning the tabs in the base with the slots in the panel. Now lift up the drum and snap the front panel into place. Secure the screws. Replace the main top by aligning the slots in the top with the tabs on the frame. Then reinstall the screws in the door frame to secure. Reposition the control panel by inserting the tabs into the slots at the back of the main top. Replace the screws in the back to secure. You're now ready to plug the new power cord in and confirm that the appliance is functioning properly.